All right. Uh, I did not mean to be streaming that long before I started the game. Sorry. I know it's been almost three minutes since I started the stream, but Galaxy, GOG Galaxy needed to update, and that took forever. And for some reason, it overwrote my DOS box settings. I don't know what happened. So anyway, hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy uh, Tuesday. It is Tuesday, uh, September 6th. Oh, my God. And we are here with my favorite, favorite, favorite helicopter flight sim ever. Digital and Integrations 1996 Magnum Opus Epic Masterpiece Thing Hind. Colon, the Russian Combat Helicopter Simulator. Uh, this is my favorite, um... Helicopter sim. Good morning, John. I'm good. How are you? I slept better last night. I hope you you're doing well um, This is my favorite helicopter sim because of the versatility of the hind the first time I played this and did a uh, Transport mission and watched the little guys come out um, Just blew my mind uh, Oh God damn it Ritu. two <laughs> Uh, yes, John, uh, Trevor is fully aware of the problems with, uh, Starfleet 2 yesterday, and he's looking into it. Um, so hopefully that'll get fixed. But yeah, he's aware. I made him, I, 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 I discorded him, like, right after the stream, and I'm like, oh my god, here's my save game, and blah, blah, blah. He talked, he talked about it on the Discord a bit, too. Are you in the Discord at all? You gotta be on the Discord. But he talked about it there. Anyway, so this is Hind. This came out in 1996, as I said previously. I am using the GOG version. You can buy this on both GOG and Zoom platform. Uh, but the Zoom platform for some version, for some reason, is a bit study, uh, is a bit stutterier, more stutter has has more of a stutter than this one. So today what we're going to do, so today what we're going to do, hang on, let's make sure everything works. Come on, buddy. Okay, everything works. Uh, yep, 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 okay. So today what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to play a little quick start and we're going to play some training and single missions. And then tomorrow and Thursday we'll do a couple of the campaigns. Um, did you know uh, you could play multiplayer with this and Apache? Uh, the other digital integration sim, you could do uh, like things like capture the flag and stuff with Apache. Did you guys know that? I think it's neat. So we're going to do some training. This is an exercise to familiarize you with the Heinz comprehensive navigation systems and reconnaissance procedure. Comrade, pay particular attention to the scrolling map with the superimposed flight plan, the use of the HUD waypoint bearing and height steering cue, and the operation of the horizontal situation indicator. You are required to transmit reconnaissance data when passing over waypoints X and Y. All right. We're not going to do all these training missions today. We're just going to do like I don't know what's going on with the mouse here. We're going to do a cup. We're going to do this one. We're going to do some weapons training. We're going to do uh, some operational training, and then uh, yeah, that'll probably do it for today. Uh, so let's see. Here's that wonderful digital integration mission planner. So X and Y. Alright. I don't... Hang on. Yeah, I don't think there's an autopilot in this. <laughs> it's just fine. Yeah, I don't think there's an autopilot. Okay. Comrade. Hind leader is clear to take off. Double 
WSO active. So they have a thing called a silicon weapons officer or WSO that can uh, that can. Uh, That can uh, hit targets for you. Look at how beautiful that thing is. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that thing is. Okay, so once we get to... Maybe we should go up a little further. Alright, so yeah, right now we're just doing a recon flight to make sure we know how to follow waypoints. So there are two views, the, uh, the pilot view and the uh, weapons officer view. And you have the FLIR view and, you know, turret optics. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, whoops. I'm a little distracted there. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. I, lo I love how the moving map is like an actual <clears throat> physical thing and not a digital thing. Cracks me the hell up. There's also time compression, but I'm not going to do it right now. In a testament to the relative simplicity of the hind, the keyboard commands are not... There aren't a ton of them. <laughs> there are not a ton of them. Like at all, there are not a ton of keyboard commands. Oh, we have night vision. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, now we're going to be approaching... Uh, now we're going to be... In a second, we're going to approach waypoint X. We're going to transmit recon data as we fly over it. WSO, WSO active. Oh, really? <laughs> That's actually really funny. Well, this game does not have that many switches. This game does not have that many switches at all. Ooh. I, l I love the... Uh, 
I love the difference between the non night vision mode and the night vision mode. Really cool. So hang on. R is transmit recon data, I think. Right? Right? Hang on. Uh, hang on. Uh, wait. R, 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 R. I'm pretty sure it's R. I just want to be sure. Ah, there it is. R. Yes. Transmit recon data. Okay. Okay, what do you want to get? Good reconnaissance data. Thank you. <laughs> Message received. I don't think under normal circumstances I'd be flying over an enemy airport that easily. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even flying at max speed. I'm using the novice, um, I'm using the novice, uh, flight model. Because, yeah, I want to. I just want to have a good time today. <laughs> All right, maybe now we can turn off uh, time compression. Because, yeah. Yeah, I don't usually like time compression, especially when there's no, uh, especially when there's no, uh, autopilot. Bad reconnaissance data. Okay, what do you want to get? I don't know what you want to get. Good reconnaissance data. Okay, I guess I just had to get closer. Yeah, I, I love the, I love the detail in these digital integration games. They have a look to them that I just, I just, Tornado, Apache, this one. Message received. I just love them all. Okay. All right. Turret gun armed. Navigation mode. Turret gun armed. Navigation mode. It looks like we only have our gun right now. Damn, got distracted. 
What happens when you know I'm an autopilot? Whoopies. Wow, you can kind of see stars. If you look up to the uh, right there, you can see some stars in the night sky. That's nifty. You can see them a little clearer on the night vision, too, which is funny. <laughs> Yeah, I was cruising at about 20 feet. <laughs> I, should, I think I should uh, get a little higher than that. Good morning, cool man. We're just doing a little bit of <clears throat> a little bit of training this morning. fly back to base. Yeah, I kind of love how there's no autopilot. Like, you know, <laughs> like, screw you, you gotta fly the whole thing yourself. <laughs> so I wonder if I could just, I want, um, uh, hmm, I wonder if I wonder if you can just end the mission and be done with it, or if you end it too early, is it a failure? I don't know. For some reason, I don't want to test it. I'll tell you though, it is really nice playing Hind again. I love this game. I love it. A lot of people of this era would probably say Jane's Longbow 2 is probably their favorite helicopter flight sim. And I love Longbow 2. Don't get me wrong. But this one is so different and unique, I can't help but just think of it as my favorite. Also, I have some, um, I guess, uh, it's not bitterness toward, uh, Longbow or whatever, but, like, there's, uh, there's a bit of, um, there's a tiny bit of bitterness or, when I think of Longbow, too, because, uh, asshole rivet counters forced the designer, Andy Hollis, out of the video gaming industry entirely because of that game. And it just makes me... I'm still mad about it. Like, I'm still super angry about it, actually. <laughs> because, like, Andy Hollis did so much awesome stuff. And, um... To be driven out by rivet counters who think they know better than you just... Make, still makes me angry. Alright. Hind leader is clear to land. Come to a stop. Alright. Gear down. Yep. Yay! <laughs> you can th throw off in infantry when doing aerobatics. Oh, that sounds fun. All right. Um, yeah, right? Like, the jump from tornado to this, like, they look similar. But, yeah, all right, so we're going to do uh, some ground attack. 
comrade, your hind is armed with 1,470 rounds of armor-piercing bullets. Comrade, the gun has a high firing rate, so use it sparingly against the range of lightly armed targets. Practice both manual aiming and using the silicon weapon system operator. Restrict the firing of your weapons to the practice range at waypoint X. All right. Okay. Comrade, hind leader is clear to take off. WSO active. I already, I always have the WSO active. Always. Always. I'm really glad it's a thing that they, uh, but yeah, like the 90s in general, Fernando, the jump in everything was impressive. Like, look at a game from 1990 versus a game from 1999, and it's like, like, Dear Lord, <laughs> faster processors, 3D accelerators, you know, just, there's never going to be another decade for video gaming like the 90s ever again, because it set the bar and the stage for so much that people are still copying and using today, like, there were a lot of not so great things about the 90s, but video games were one of them. Video games in the 90s were just... There's never going to be another decade like that. Never going to be another decade like that. Everything is now going to be iter iterative from the 90s. There's an aircraft over there. Turret gun armed. I don't know what that's doing. Navigation mode. So, yeah, the 90s, like, in Egypt. The 90s in general were just an astounding time for video games. That will never be matched, I feel. Never. There's another aircraft. Hmm. Well, right now I'm not, wor I'm not gonna worry myself with those things. But yeah, you look at a flight sim from 1990 and a flight sim from 1995, and the differences are just... Like, I think EF-2000 came out in 95, and, like, you look at, like, say you play a flight sim from 1990, like, uh, what's, yeah, play Fly the Intruder, and then play EF-2000. <sighs> like, the differences in graphics and sound and campaigns and everything just... Freaking nothing like it. So yeah, even though this is a basically an iterative improvement over Tornado, um, it's still like an astounding game. Just. Yeah, I love these digital integration games. I love them. So, um... T. 
Yeah, right? I think that's because they reused equipment. <laughs> I think I, I I think I I think that's because they just reused stuff from other. You know. All right, approaching the uh, approaching the target range. I've got lock. On what? Gun armed. Alright, slow it down. Lock broken. What did you have locked? I don't. I don't think my little cannon's gonna. Firing now. Firing now. Firing now. Lock broken. Yeah, I don't think my little can. Now. I don't think my little cannon's gonna hurt that tank. Firing now. Yeah, I don't know if that cannon's gonna hurt that tank, y'all. Lock broken. Lock broken. That it might hurt. Firing now. BRDM to APC. Good kill. Firing now. Firing now. BRDM to Saga APC. SA9 some. BMP to APC. BRDM to Saga APC. Firing now. Firing now. Firing now. SA-9 some. BMP to APC. BMP to APC. BRDM to APC. Firing now. ZSU-23 AAA. Navigation mode. Okay, well that was a good time, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see if. Oh, so you fail. All right, so you can't just quit. You got to fly all the way back. Okay, well that's good to know. No, I don't want to log this one. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what should we try next? What is this? The powerful AT-6 spiral air-to-surface missile is the Heinz main weapon for use against armored vehicles and hardened ground targets. Is it now? Comrade, your Heinz is armed with eight of these awesome weapons for attacking targets at Waypoint X. Practice with and without the assistance of the Silicon Weapon Systems Operator. Okay. Time for some missiles. Comrade, hind leader is clear to take off. Let's go to about 50 feet. All right. Can't see the arm. WSO active. Now you can, if you want, manually pick targets, if you want to, um, with the T key, um, but I like having the guy in the back tell me what to shoot at. Alright, so we got, um... Turret gun armed, 86 armed. Navigation mode, Tar 86 armed. So those are the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the... The air to ground missiles that we're going to be using. Navigation mode.
So, uh, I have a plan after uh, we're done with Yakuza. Um, cause I don't think we're that far away from the end. Um, I don't think we're that far away from the end of Yakuza Like a Dragon. So when we finish, uh, Yakuza, I'm gonna switch, uh, Fridays, cause who knows when Yakuza 2, uh, Like a Dragon 2 is coming out. I'm gonna switch Fridays to, uh, Flight Sims. I'm gonna call it Flight Sim Fridays, cause I love alliteration. I think alliteration is awesome. And, uh, we're gonna go through entire campaigns every Friday. Well, not the whole campaign, but, like, we're gonna start a campaign and we're gonna play the campaign until we finish it and then move on to the next sim. And so, uh... Uh, what I wanna do is go in, like, uh, chronological order of my favorite flight sims. So we'll start with F-19 and we'll do a campaign out of that. And, uh, when we finish that campaign, we'll move on to the next flight sim. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. We're definitely gonna do Hind. We're definitely gonna do Hind, uh, as part of the lineup. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna definitely do, uh, F-19 and Mega Fortress and Tornado. And, um, I think we got Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe in there. Yeah, so just, um... Uh, we're probably going to do Stunt Island as well. Um, yeah, and Gunship 2000. So, yeah, we're going to do... Yeah, so right now for the lineup for Flight Sim Fridays is uh, F-19, Mega Fortress, Stunt Island, Gunship 2000, Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe, Tornado, Apache, Hind, EF-2000, and Fighters Anthology. And, uh, one of the reasons I picked those is because they run. Like, you're like, why can't you, why can't, why not Janes, why not, because they don't run <laughs> on these machines. So, sometimes I like these older games anyway with the big old dynamic campaigns and stuff. So, um, so yeah, what we're going to do is like, we'll start a campaign of F-19 and we'll play it all the way through. And then when we finish a campaign in F-19, we'll move on to Mega Fortress. Um... So, yeah, I'm very excited about uh, Flight Sim Fridays. Because, cause, like, playing these old Flight Sims has really just rekindled my love of them. Like, I never, like, not loved them, but, like, playing, revisiting all these old Flight Sims has just been such a joy that I want to keep that going. So, yeah, uh, after we're done Yakuza, we're going to start Flight Sim Fridays. And I'm very excited about it. Where, where, where? Turret gun 86 armed. Slow down so we don't overshoot our target. SA 9 some. Morning, Julie. Look at this beautiful thing. Good 86. Look at this. BMP to APC. Hang on. No, Julie. Different game. BRDM to APC. Oh, mission accomplished. I can stop shooting at stuff now, but I don't want to. 
No, this is this came out in 1996. You can get it on GOG. Good, you can get it on GOG, but this, that that other game is called Air Missions Hind. Um, and it's a good game. It's just not as good as this. I definitely want. I'm definitely gonna get it on the Switch once it. Um, I'm definitely gonna get it on the Switch once uh, once it goes on sale. Cause I liked it on PC. Morning, Jacob. Or afternoon. Look at all these targets they just laid out for me. Delightful. Good, 86. Turret gun armed. Firing now. Firing now. Firing now. BMP to APC. Firing now. BMP to APC. 86 armed. Good kill. DM to APC. Turret gun armed. Firing now. Firing now. BMP to APC. BRDM to APC. Firing now. Good kill. <laughs> BMP to APC. That's a good time. T62 tank. Okay, I'm not gonna hit that with a gun. Oh, I've got it on infinite weapons, yeah, because uh 86 navigation mode. Because I felt like it. Okay, let's head back. Lock broken. Oh god, I'm a little low. I should get a little higher. Just a little. There we go. Yeah, about to do. So yeah, to finish a mission, you actually have to uh, fly back and land. The nice thing about the novice flight mode is it'll fly you over hills like that. So next we're going to try a bomb mission, and then uh, then we'll try um, then we'll try dropping off some troops. <laughs> yeah, for some reason the it said mission accomplished earlier, but the accomplished. Uh, is staying on the screen, which is interesting. God, I love this game so much, you guys. You should all go out and buy it right now. On GOG, it is $6. It is one of the best $6 purchases you could ever make. Seriously, this game is so goddamn fun. And I still think it's a beautiful game. I still think it's an absolutely gorgeous game. There's something about the detail in these uh, digital integration games that I don't think has really been matched. I mean, that's nice you have a hind in DCS, but what do you got to do with it? Fly around this empty land, empty hellscape with, with nothing going on? I mean, sure, if that's what you want. <laughs> Oh, 
override. Hind leader is clear to land. I'd like to come to a stop. There we go. Outstanding. <laughs> Targets destroyed by Immortal. Is that my name? It doesn't matter. All right. So now we're going to try a bomb mission. Because one of the beauties of the Hind is the variety of uh, armaments it can carry. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so let's see. We have um, 500 kilometer bombs. We have fragmentation bombs. We have fuel air bombs, and we have a mine dispenser. This is a powerful weapon that contains 144 anti-personnel mines Your Lord. in four compartments. Comrade, your helicopter is loaded with two of these weapons on the inner pylons. In the practice area, release a compartment at each of the waypoints, X, Y, and Z. For an optimal release pattern, your altitude should be 50 to 150 meters with a minimum speed of 200 kilometers per hour. See, yeah, I love how, I love the fuel air bomb. Awesome weapon. Awesome weapon. Detonated above ground, generating an incredible blast effect and spreading a highly explosive mixture of petrochemicals. Comrade, your hind is loaded with two of these on the inner pylons and they are released simultaneously. Use these powerful weapons to attack the buildings at waypoint X. Pay attention to the minimum release height of 300 meters and speed of 300 kilometers per hour. Ooh, let's do this one. So, uh, let's see, so 300 meters, 300 kilometers per hour, all right. Take off. We gotta get high for this one. Turret gun up, 500 pound fuel air bombs armed. Navigation mode. Oh. Oh. God, this feels way too high, but that's okay, it's a training mission. Yeah, I, I really want to see the big boom. I really want to see the big boom. So what what you can do is you can, what I'll probably do is hit that right before I drop them. Yeah, big bada boom. Yes, exactly. Big bada boom. Lilo Dallas multipass. I got a multi-pass thing for my vaccine card. It is so great. Cost about 30 bucks on Etsy. And uh, so now I, I've got a multi-pass, but it's my vaccine card. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I don't like flying this high. <laughs> but I guess for the for this one particular mission, I need to. I guess I don't need to fly this high the entire time, but, you know. All right, here we go. Do a little time acceleration. God, I love this game. It's so good to be back. Yeah, playing this is what gave me the idea for the Flight Sim Friday thing. I'm really excited about Flight Sim Fridays. And then when uh, Like a Dragon 2 comes out, when Light when uh, oh, when uh, Like a Dragon 2 comes out, we can. Uh... Turret gun, 500 pound fuel air bombs armed. All right, hang on. Here we go. And when Like a Dragon 2 comes out, we can take a break from Flight Sim Fridays for a while. But uh, it's going to be a little ways off. Okay, here we go.
Oh, jeez. Oh. Ah. Utterly delightful. Utterly delightful. No, it's fine, Julie. It's fine. Then I take everything out. I'm not getting a mission accomplished uh, thing. Gotta drop a bunch. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Woo, that was hot. It was a little flush. I'm a little clam for clam. I'm a little, a little, mm. I got the tingles! I got the rumbles! <laughs> well, the reason I love this game is because, damn! Let's get back down to a more... Like, because the hind is not supposed to fly very high. <laughs> Typically. They said in the manual, you're supposed to fly like 30 to 50 meters. <laughs> That's where this thing lives. Down low. Oh, that was lovely. That was... That was lovely. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so now we did that. Uh, next we'll do... Uh, once we land, we'll do a... Uh, we'll, we'll do a little drop-off mission. We'll do a little... Uh, we'll do a little drop-off mission. We'll drop off some troops. You can, get the, you can get to see the little guys run out of the helicopter. I love those. Yeah, because we're on a training mission, I don't feel I don't feel so uh, bad about using time compression. If we were on a regular, oh, 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 oh. Comrade, hind leader is clear to land. I would like to come to a stop, please. Just come to a stop. Just come to a stop. There we go. this music <laughs> all right uh sure why not all right so now we're going to do troop deployment comrade eight fully equipped brave troops are aboard <laughs> your hind for deployment at waypoint x once you have landed open the cargo door and await clearance from the flight engineer before closing the doors and taking off <laughs> brave. I, I love. <laughs> I love the. I love the the brave and the awesome and all that stuff. The um, eight brave troops. <laughs> yeah, the accent is also great. I do love it. <laughs> so many things about this game I just absolutely love. You can always open the cargo doors and do some aerobatics. No, no. 
Well, maybe after a successful flight, we'll try that. We'll try that. <laughs> See, <laughs> See how brave they really are. <laughs> I'm guessing there aren't seat belts in the back of this thing. Uh, all right, so the uh, doors are D. Okay. So we're commit. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. So yeah, I always love how in the um, in the digital integration mission planners, you could totally get a look at. The three D, the battlefield. All right, so oh yeah, take off. Comrade, hind leader is clear to take off. Thank you. All right, let's go to about fifty feet. That's where I like it. Go. It's kind of a similar. Uh, he does have a similar voice to that guy, but but the the uh, Tie Fighter guy is much more British. <laughs> yes, I work for the Empire. What what? Because <laughs> we're all imperialists, aren't we? Yes. I am so glad I didn't get that TIE Fighter tattoo. Did I ever tell you guys about that? I'm pretty sure I did. I almost got the tattoo that they have in TIE Fighter for the Secret Order of the Emperor. I almost got it. And uh, so I got a henna version. If you're going to get a tattoo, always get a henna version. Seriously. You got to test it out before you get this thing done. So if you're going to get a tattoo, always get a henna version. No lie. Um, so I got a henna version of the, uh, the TIE Fighter tattoo. And so I showed it to people. And they're like, that looks like an SS symbol. I'm like, what? So I looked it up. Oh, yeah. Looked like something the, uh, a, uh, brand of the SS used in Germany in World War II for a specific, uh, yeah, that was fun. All right, so yeah, I never got that tattoo. All right, so let's, all right, let's bring it in. No, no, no. To a stop. All right. So, uh, what's the? There we go. And then, all right. And then so. Come on, let me. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So let's put the gear. So the gear is down. Look at that! We didn't have anything like that back in 1996, you guys. Look at that! How freaking amazing is that? We didn't have anything like that back in 1996. Yeah, and look, they're fully armed. Look at that. They're armed. They're detailed. Look at that! Can I close the doors yet? Oh, yes, and Brave. Yeah, I bet you DCS doesn't have those little guys getting in and out. Yeah. <laughs> so can I close everything? I probably can. All right. Why aren't you working? There we go. I do like how the landing gear just appear and disappear. Just appear, just appear. 
All right. Um. Yeah, look at our altitude. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's not saying mission accomplished, though. It should be saying mission accomplished. I mean, I did drop them off. <laughs> I did drop them off. All right, let's fly back. See if it. See if I failed or whatever. Secret Russian tech. No, it's a the secret Russian tech is an airplane that runs on thoughts. <laughs> if you if you guys haven't seen the movie Firefox, it is one of the most eighties things you could possibly watch. It is so eighties. <laughs> oh my god. Cold War. Lots of Russian stuff, ridiculous tech. <laughs> A little science fiction bent to it, yeah. Super 80s. <laughs> Super duper 80s. All right, so is D the final waypoint? I think it might be. <laughs> What's an Alco stop? Is that like a convenience store? That's what that sounds like. Sounds like a convenience store. Slow it down. Slow it down. Any place with alcohol. Oh, Alco. Oh, of course. Alco stop. That makes sense. There's an airplane taking off. I wonder what that is. That's cool that stuff is happening, even in this training mission. Hello, Carl. Good morning. Outstanding. Sure. Okay, now we're going to do a medevac mission. Comrade, you are required to evacuate eight fully equipped courageous special forces from a mock battlefield at Waypoint X. Once you have landed at the pickup point, <laughs> open the cargo doors, wait for the flight engineer to confirm that everyone is aboard, then close the doors prior to takeoff and return to base. Well, they had proper sound cards by 1996, Julie. So, um, so it makes sense. All right. So, we're, guys, we're going to pick up eight fully equipped courageous special forces. I love these words. I love the words they're using. Okay. Uh, Carl, I don't... Carl Floyd, I don't recognize your name. Have you been here before? And I've just forgotten. I'm not good with names. I, if you've been here before and I've forgotten, I apologize. But your name does not look familiar to me. So I'm. So if you're new here, welcome. Is it not a good Russian accent? Okay, I apologize then, Carl. I'm I'm not great with names, so I apologize. Uh, I'm not great with names. I'm not great with faces. 
But I can tell you the crew compliment of the uh, the uh, the original series Enterprise. <laughs> 430 <laughs> Yeah, my brain would rather my brain would rather hold on to random Star Trek knowledge than uh, the names You know what the uh, you know what the crew complement of the refit enterprise is 512 And the Enterprise D, I believe, is 1,089. And I think there's a video out there that shows that for a ship as big as the Enterprise D, 1,000 is a tiny amount of people. <laughs> like, it's the biggest ship because there's only 1,000 people on it. I don't, I don't know much about the Enterprise E, honestly. Uh, because I never really cared that much about the Enterprise E. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, First Contact was an okay movie, but after that, I just didn't give a shit, really. So I never really got into the Enterprise E. I'm all about the refit and the A. That's my that's my jam, right there. Uh, is the uh, refit the move the original series movie the original series movie Enterprise is um is my jam. Uh, so yeah, I never really knew much about the E. I like, I don't dislike the E, but um, I don't dislike the E, but uh, I never really cared much about the E. Then, it, but to be fair, I don't know what the crew complement of the Defiant is either. For some reason, I just never. I've got the technical manual for the Defiant over there, but I don't remember what the crew complement is of the Defiant. I don't think it's a static number though, because it's like never. It's not like a long-range exploration ship that always has a certain amount of crew on it, you know? All right, so hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now slow it down, now slow it down! All right, hang on. Okay. No, no. No, hang on, I need... Here's the... Hang on. Ah! Oh, okay. Granola from Iceland. Yeah. Woo! Have you have you tried it? I did. It's like, uh, it's very different from the style. Very different from yours. Different. Okay. Yeah. All right. I love you. And it's a oh. rhubarb chocolate. Rhubarb chocolate. Mm. What the fuck is rhubarb? Red. What is that? You don't know what rhubarb is? Is that a fruit? Yeah. It's a plant. And it looks like red celery, but it's very much. Okay. And they put it into pies. And... Not right now. Okay. All right. I love you. Okay. Have a good day. Be safe. I hope the air conditioning works well at your school. Me too. We are having such a heat wave here, you guys. It's terrible. For the first time ever, we let we had the air condition. We have a little portable air conditioning unit, and uh, we usually turn it off at night because it gets cool enough at night that we can give it a break. You know, but not last night. We let it go all night. Because the previous night was so horrible that we just let it go all night. And I don't like doing that, but um, what are you going to do? Okay, so wait. Uh, where's the previous... Where's the waypoint keys? Hang on. Where are the waypoint keys? Hang on. Ah, previous waypoint. Shift N. There we go. Okay. Uh, shift N. Are we at waypoint X? Yeah, see, that's what I needed. I needed I needed to know how far... No, I need it. No, I need it. There we go. I need to get closer to waypoint X. I'm too far away from waypoint X to pick up people. There it is. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Uh, my wife's, uh, my, my in-laws, basically, just took a trip to Iceland. And, um, and they uh, brought us back. And they brought us back some, um, okay, hang on. All right, so 
hovering. So what is it? Um, right, so. There. Uh, so they brought us back uh, a bunch of stuff, and one of the things they brought us back was some uh, granola. My wife likes making granola, so that's one of the... Oh, hi. How you doing? How are you? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we do we not get any kind of uh Oh, it says mission accomplished. Alright. So let's I can go a little higher than that. I think I have heard of rhubarb before, but I'm not sure if I've ever had it. Maybe I have. I don't know. Well, I'm excited to try this. Uh, I'm excited to try this granola they brought back to us from Iceland. They also brought back these uh, this chocolate covered licorice, which is amazing. I've I've had to fight not to eat all of it. I don't know if it's leaves or what, but my wife had some, so it's granola. So I doubt there are leaves in it. But um, anyway. All right. Oh. Ooh, it's a boat. That's one thing I do love about these digital digital integration games is how alive and busy these little worlds are. You know, there's planes taking off. There's boats going down. The, there are boats going down the river. You know, things like that. That's one of the reasons I love about these games. Is that these little worlds they have you fly in. Because these aren't huge, long missions. That's another thing I like about these games. Is that these missions are not very long. You take off close to the target. You know. And you fly to it. You do your thing. You get back. It's like 20, 30 minutes. It's like 20 minutes for a mission. Which I really appreciate. So now, uh, D, I guess, is... Yeah, D is... But they's made... Like, look, there's a helicopter going to do its thing. I don't know what that is, but there it goes. They really make these little worlds feel alive. And and I think that's one thing they excelled at. And what's, that's one reason I never... I, I know uh, why for... I, I know Brian of... Um, of uh, Tiny Combat Arena. Huh. I'll take it. I know Brian of uh, Tidy Combat Arena Y four eight five. He uh, prefers four. He prefers their F sixteen sim. But one of the reasons I didn't get into their F sixteen sim as much as these is because it was you're so high up and you're so far above everything. You can't appreciate the details of these wonderful little worlds they've created. I love the the more intimate tornado, the more intimate Apache, the more intimate you're you know down closer to the ground type of thing. That's why I never got into their F-16 game as much. Not, and I'm not saying right. it's a bad game. Is clear to land. It's just when you're high up and flying fast, you don't get these wonderful little detailed worlds, or you don't get to see it as much, at least as you do when you're down in the dirt in an Apache or in a Hind or in a Tornado. So yeah, that's why I never got into their F-16 game. Even though I own it, and at some point I should play it. You know, maybe I'll add that to the list. Hang on. I'll just add that to the... Yeah. Success! It wasn't outstanding. It was just a success. I'll 
glad I have 16 of the list of flight sims we do. Why not? Alright. Okay. I think... I don't, I don't know if we want to do any more trading missions. Is there another one? Oh yeah, we want to do this one. I really don't care about formation flying. Um, Comrade, as part of your training to peak operational efficiency, you need to practice the evacuation of casualties. Once you have landed, open the cargo doors, wait until your flight engineer informs you that the casualties are loaded, close the doors, then take off and return to base. Alright, this will be the last trading mission we do, and then we'll try... If we have time, we'll try a single mission. World War I I I I like World War One flight sims just fine. I'm just more into the modern stuff. I mean I've played Red Baron, Red Baron 2, Flying Core, Flying Core Gold. One of my favorite flight sims is Wings Over Flanders Fields, which is has probably the best dynamic campaign of any flight sim you can get. Amazing. Um But I'm more interested in the modern stuff. So that's why that's why we're doing this. Um, I got nothing against World War One flight sims. They just don't do it for me as much as more modern stuff. All right, so now we got to evacuate some folks at waypoint X. All right. Wow. Leader is clear to take off. Wee. So yeah, I got nothing against. Um, I mean, there are a lot of great World War One sims, like the ones I all, all rattled off. Red Baron, Red Baron Two is they're both amazing. Flying Corps, fantastic. Um, Wings over Flanders Fields. You know, um, there are a lot of great World War One flight sims. It's just I'm I'm less interested in those. Even though I've played them and I love them, I'm more interested in the more modern stuff. You know. So, you know. But yeah, why didn't I pick Red Baron? You know? I guess I just wasn't excited about it, you know? Like, I could have picked Red Baron or Red Baron 2 slash 3D for this, and I was just like, eh. I'm not, I'm, I, I mean, I've played all the, I've played a lot of World War One flight sims, but they just don't interest me as much. So that's, I hope that answers your question, Julia. I'm just not as interested in World War One as I am in the modern stuff. World War II is about as old as I go. Typically. Okay. I don't know. It would be so weird to be called comrade. I've had people call me comrade before because of my political views, and I'm like, no, sir, I'm not a communist. I'm a socialist. <laughs> I'm a leftist. <laughs> A comrade does not apply to me. <laughs> All right, so now we got to pick up some guys. Probably guys, right? I don't think they had, um... I don't think the Soviets had women soldiers out there. Okay, so hang on, let's... Oh, I see him. I see him. Okay, hang on. 
Let's see if I can get a... I'm a little far from him. Okay. Get a little closer. That should do it. All right. All right. Well, yeah, I know they had women pilots during World War II, but I think in this particular era, I don't know if they had women combatants. It's weird, the keystrokes don't always register when, um... Am I too far away? Oh, there they come! The keystrokes don't always register when you're in, a, in, in an external view. Look at those guys carrying those stretchers. We good? Mission accomplished, alright. All right, let's go. All righty. So yeah, in uh, Soviet Russia in uh, like the 80s or whatever, or when this was a thing, I don't know if they had women combatants like they did in World War II. I don't know. I'd be happy to be told I'm wrong. I'd be happy to be wrong. Gotta stay hydrated. When it's, when it's as hot as it is right now, you gotta stay hydrated. Oh, I've heard that word, Tavarish. I've heard that word. It sounds like a more pleasant word than comrade for some reason. I don't know why. To me, it sounds far more pleasant. I love the moving map. It's a paper map with a with a like a couple pieces of metal showing you where you are. Slides or whatever those things are called. What are those things called? I don't remember what they're called. I know they have a name, I just can't remember what they're called. Hilvery? Means the same thing. Lone words? So does Finnish have some Russian in it? Kamradi, oh, interesting. So does Finnish have a little bit of Russian in it? I didn't know that. Slow it down, slow it down. Slow it down, slow it down. Simmer down now. Hind leader is clear to land. Oh, great. Thank you.
Oh, okay. I did not know that. I did not know there were Russian roots in Finland. Learn something new every day. Okay, so we've done a bunch of training missions. Let's do a single mission. So the last time we played this, we played uh, in Afghanistan. Um, Kiseli? I don't know what that is. So the last time we played this, we played in Afghanistan. So tomorrow we'll play in uh, tomorrow we'll play in Kazakhstan, and then I figure Thursday we'll play in Korea because that's when you get up to be against Apaches. So let's do uh, ooh, let's do a troop evacuation. A squad of our brave special forces on a sabotage mission have been located by a group of cruel rebels. Comrade, <laughs> our courageous troops have retreated but they're short of ammunition and need rescuing urgently. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that, Ritu. That's interesting. Makes a lot of sense. All right, so now we're doing a single mission. Comrade, hind leader is cleared to take off. Oh, sorry, I took off before you told me I could take off. Sorry. WSO active. All right, let's go. A thick juice based drink in with starch? Is it, is it good? He's hostile. They're saying he's hostile. Whoa. Whoa, you hear that? Do you guys hear that? The uh, fighting going on right now? I hear, uh, I hear, hang on, how do I look, I wonder if I can, can I look left and right in the cockpit, find out, oh, whoa, okay, that's neat. I didn't know I could do that. Message received. Oh. I see oh, it's nice that it'll kind of center the view for you if you move it back. Yeah, I don't know if you guys hear the fighting going on, but that is great. So yeah, other helicopters are just doing their thing. Oh look, there goes an airplane. I don't know what it's doing. That's one thing I love about these games is how alive these... How, the, how alive these battlefields feel, you know? WSO active. Hey, so far, we haven't been shot at. Look, there's explosions over there. There's some kind of fight going on. Look at that. It's so fucking cool. Excuse my language. That's so fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, do you want me to shoot at these things? SA9, some. Turret gun, 80mm R6086 armed, navigation mode. Yeah, that's one, that's one, that's the great thing about these digital integration sims. I feel is how alive these battlefields feel. Like right now, they're just everyone else is doing their own thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should shoot at anybody or not, so I'm just not gonna. I'm 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 here to pick up some some uh, some beleaguered troops, some courageous and beleaguered troops. Oh wow, look at that. Oh wow, look. Oh God! Oh wow! Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna steer a little clear of that. Oh my goodness! Oh, does that mean something's scanning us? See the uh, radar warning receiver right there? Oh, oh! No, soldier. You want to shoot? I feel like I should reread. I read the manual over the weekend, but that was then. I don't remember what the four means. I gotta reread the. I'm gonna reread the manual today. Oh, is that what that means? Well, all right. Good luck with that. Wow, look at all that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. The hind just doing its own thing. Lock broken. Lighter, long, medium, short range. You're probably right. I just need to remind myself. Okay, we're almost there. Ah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Whoa, whoa, why am I why am I so high? Shit. Shouldn't be that whoa. Look broken. Shouldn't be that high. Okay, let's fly a little lower. Sean, a radar warning. Well, if I go low enough, maybe they won't see me. Whoa, whoa! Turret gun armed. Target in range. Firing now. Firing now. That is U-23 triple A. Shit. The RDM-2 Saga APC. That is U-23 triple A. Firing now. The MP-2 APC. Lock broken. Lock 
Target in the range. At least I took out some stuff. And then I got shot down. Yeah, I don't know why his name is Immortal. All right. Uh, no. Wow. Wow. Oh, look at this. A camouflaged enemy supply dump has been located. It consists of several ammunition bunkers and numerous pallets containing other stores. Comrade, you are required to bomb your assigned bunker and then attack the rebel air defenses prior to deploying our special forces. Okay. So we got a bunch of guys in the back as we, as we bomb a supply dump and then they get dropped off. We're not going to make it, but I'm going to try it. Um, so, yeah. So, we're attacking the stuff at X. A camouflaged enemy supply dump has been located. It consists of several ammunition bunkers yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. and numerous pallets so, containing other stores. Comrade, you are required to bomb your assigned bunker and then attack the rebel air defenses prior to deploying our special forces. Okay, so that's what we're bombing. Right there. And then we're deploying... here. Good times. I don't think we'll make it, but we're gonna try it. Uh, okay, where's my where's my cursor? There you are. Okay, take off. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to take off already. Comrade, hind leader is clear to take off. Okay, so what do we got? Turret gun, 500 pound bombs armed. R60 is armed. 86 armed. Navigation mode. Okay. So we got bombs, which means we need to fly higher once we get to the target. Okay, fun times. Fun times. Okay, fine, fine, fine. WSO active. Did I say this game was not easy? It's not easy. It's fun. I love it. I don't mind getting shot down. But, um... Because, you know, it's it's a challenging game. Yes, comrade. Comrade, please confirm. Yes, comrade. Turret gun armed. Just in case. Now, hang on. 500 pound bombs armed. I know what those are. R60 is armed. Hang on. So, R60. What the hell is an R60? Hang on. I don't remember. <laughs> Give me a second. Um.
Damn. Oh, is that what they are? Oh, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're absolutely right. Okay. So we have air to air missiles, 86 armed. air to ground missiles, Navigation mode. and Turret our gun. Armed. 586 navigation mode. So we've got a variety of armaments. I've got him. Oh, there's always whoa. There's always a little bit of lag. Always. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Good kill. Whoops. Navigation mode. Turret gun armed. I think I just. I think I just. Uh... Oh my god. Target in range. Let us U23 triple A. Firing now. Sign a radar warning. D62 tank. Oh, I'm not gonna take that out with. Um... Lock broken. Broken. 500 R6 ATC navigation mode. Standby. BRDM2 Saga APC. Ooh. Looking on. Turret gun armed. 500 power R60s are 86 armed. Navigation mode, turret gun armed. What targets, comrade? ZSU 23 oh, AAA. 500 R60 86 armed. Navigation mode, turret gun armed. ZSU 23 AAA. DM to APC. Firing now. BMP to APC. Lock broken. Triple A radar warning. Woo! Warning. Clear failure. BRDM to APC. 500 pound R60s armed. Oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Gun armed. Lock broken. Firing now. Lock broken. Lock broken. Uh, navigation mode. Triple A radar warning. All right, come. Okay, we're not. We're approaching the. Um... Where did you go? I'm not sure. Fleer, I think. I don't remember. Threat confirmed. Some a radar warning. Oof.
500 pounds, R60, navigation mode, top R60 armed, navigation mode, top 500 pounds, R60 armed. Navigation, turret gun armed. Shit. That's U23 triple A. Target in range. Firing now. That's U23 triple A. That's A9. Oh! Yeah. <sighs> Damn. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I also love this music. You died because you suck. Okay. You died. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> That's going to do it for today, yo. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with more of this. <laughs> Maybe I'll survive a mission. I gotta be a little more methodical. I can't just rush in. That's what I've been doing. I've been rushing in. And what I think what I need to do is be a little more like, ah, uh, oh look, Sam. Dead, dead, dead. Okay, ah. Uh, oh look. Hey, hey, hey. Dead, dead, dead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I need to be a little more methodical. Um... Instead of just going, ah, boom. <sighs> yeah, I think I need to be a little more careful. Uh, so we'll see you back here tomorrow for more of this. Um, I love this game. Please be safe. Please be well. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated if you're having a heat wave like we are. Um, be safe. <laughs> and, uh, If you haven't already, please get vaccinated. Please. I'm begging you. Please get vaccinated. We'll see you back here tomorrow, everyone, for more Hind. Oh, and the podcast, where we talk about our favorite spaceship designs. Very excited.